All right, so I was, I was asking myself, you know, there's so many thousands of different types of Christian churches, and each one thinks the other one's wrong and that they're going to hell, and they've spent hundreds and thousands of years taking turns killing each other's and the Jews. So I was like, what's the difference between a Lutheran and a Protestant? Are they the same thing or what? Is a Lutheran a Protestant? I don't get it. So I looked up Lutheran, and uh, turns out there's all kinds of different denominations just within the Lutheran Church, started by Martin Luther, uh, Apostolic Lutheran Church of America, Elysian Synod, uh, General Lutheran Church, Independent Lutheran Diocese, Old Apostolic Lutheran Church, Protestant Conference, United Lutheran Association of Con Confessional Lutheran Churches, Association of Free Lutheran Congregations, Latvian Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, uh, the Orthodox Lutheran Confessional Conference. It, it just goes on and on, okay? And they all believe something slightly different than the other one. And then there's a, a whole list of, like, different Lutheran denominations that are now defunct, that went out of business. I guess they weren't the true religions after all. And that included the American Evangelical Lutheran Church Fellowship of Lutheran Congregations, United Evangelical Lutheran Church in America, Danish Evangelical Lutheran Church Association in America. The longer the name, I think the shorter the time span of your existence is going to be. And they, they make up these big giant names and they think they're going to be here forever just because they have a big name. United Sign out of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in the South. They're gone too. All gone. General Council of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in North America. Gone, gone, gone. you got to shorten your name. All right? That's the first thing you got to do. Now, what caught my eye when I was going down the list of the defunct Lutheran denominations, uh, well, there was one called the Anti-Missourian Brotherhood. And I'm thinking, there's another problem. you got to be pro-something. Nobody wants to be anti-anything, right? Are you pro-choice or are you pro-life? If somebody called you up and said, hey, are you anti-choice or are you anti-life? You'd be like, what? what do they have against Missourians? I don't know. Let's find out. They split off from the sign out of the Norwegian Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. I'd soon experienced internal division over questions concerning predestination. I think that's where they argue about God made people with free will and they choose their destination by the deeds they do. Or predestination means God already knows and can foresee everything and he made some people to go to heaven and he made some people who are destined to go to hell no matter what they do. Now the anti-Missourians were so named because they disagreed with the predestination position, which was associated with the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod. So they were anti-Missourians.